Jake Paul breaks his silence about his brother's YouTube controversy. Plus, the Oscar nominations are out and we're celebrating with this year's nominees. Roll out the red carpet, y'all, because the nominations for the 90th Academy Awards, yes, 90, were announced today. But first, I gotta get to Jake Paul, you guys, because he is finally speaking out about his brother Logan's controversial suicide forest video. Jake shared his thoughts in a 13-minute video on YouTube, most of which is Jake and his friends pranking each other, but he does, however, save the last two minutes to defend his brother. I don't think it's right what he did at all. And I know Logan more than probably anybody else. And um, I do know, though, that he did not mean to offend anyone. And I could, I could tell when he's like in shock and, and he, he didn't handle the situation the right way. But I know in the back of his head he didn't uh, mean to offend or, or hurt anybody or, or create such a, a, a big frustration. And he is honestly truly, truly sorry. As I told you guys earlier this month, YouTube cut some ties with Logan and put his projects on hold in light of the whole situation. His brother Jake says that not only is Logan paying for the huge mistake he made, but he's learning from it too. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Will Logan bounce back? All right, we're gonna hard pivot here because it's a big day in Hollywood with this year's Oscar nominations. It's been a morning full of surprises, but none more epic than first time nominee Allison Janney. E.T.'s Michelle Turner went to celebrate with the I, Tanya star on the set of her show, Mom, and it got out of hand, literally. So this is cool. Oh! <laughs> Did that just happen? Did that just happen? Dude, is there a wound? No, it's the most Did incredible I... champagne cork pop ever. Is everyone okay? <laughs> is anyone down? That is the best thing I've seen all day. And you know what, Al Allison isn't the only one celebrating today. In fact, we all should be, because based on the nominations today, you can tell that the Academy really embraced outsiders this year. The Shape of Water, a movie about a mute woman, black cleaning lady, and a gay man rescuing a sea monster, racked up 13 nominations, the most of any film this year. And the directing category was the most diverse in years, including Mexico-born Guillermo del Toro for Shape of Water, and Jordan Peele. He's nominated for directing one of my favorite movies of the year, Get Out, and he is only the fifth black director ever to be nominated in this category. He was also nominated for original screenplay. And this morning, Jordan called his Get Out leading man, Daniel Kaluuya, who woke up to a nomination of his own. Jordan tweeted how that combo went down. You know when you're on the phone trying to disguise the sound of an ugly cry? I failed at that. Meanwhile, Lady Bird director Greta Gerwig is now the fifth woman ever to be nominated in the category, and she is also nominated for her screenplay for The Love Letter to Sacramento. She told ET Today in a statement, quote, I am struggling to find the words to express how much the nomination for Best Director and Best Screenplay means to me in a year where there are so many brilliant films by so many of my heroes of cinema. All I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart. It was also a year of firsts. One name trending big this morning was Rachel Morrison. She's the first woman ever to be nominated for Best Cinematography for Mudbound, which is absolutely major. And her muse in that movie, Mary J. Blige, is a double nominee and the first to ever score nominations for both an acting and original song Oscar in the same year. As you guys know, we've been rooting for her all awards season long, as well as my boy, Timothy Chalamet, who at 21 just became the youngest person nominated for best actor in 75 years. He told ET he's still in shock. And I say I called it. In case you guys missed it, go watch why we're obsessed with Timmy Chalamet right now. All right, as you can tell, I get excited for these things. And if you do too, well, the full list of nominees for the 90th Academy Awards is up on our site, etonline.com. And we also have more reactions from some of your nominees. So go check it out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.